Last week, I talked about four of Chris Steyer's seven pillars for building a culture that improves productivity, performance, and profit, included in his book, The Power of Company Culture. Today, in part two, I'll share three more of those pillars. Hi, I'm Amy Grant, president of the ABL organization, and the first of these pillars is transparency. Our East Bay member, Cindy Hatton, is the CEO of the not-for-profit hospice of the East Bay, and she's a huge believer in both transparent financials and goal setting with her team. While some organizations are hesitant to share the numbers with their employees, Cindy believes everyone should know the importance of having a profit or surplus and a positive EBITDA so they can maintain their leadership in a competitive environment. Another pillar is acknowledgement. San Francisco member Eric Nooner's Health Coach Institute brings together thousands of health coaches that they've trained in regular HCI Live sessions held in several of the 30 countries in which their 20,000 plus coaches reside. A key aspect of these upbeat sessions is acknowledging the men and women who overcame really tough circumstances to become successful coaches. Their website is replete with testimonials from their coaches who are changing lives and building good businesses by coaching their customers into frequently life-saving behavior change. The measurement pillar is to ensure businesses act on objective information as often as possible. For example, at last month's Technology Roundtables, Bob Kelly, ABL's CEO, presented several key performance indicators, KPIs, that are frequently used to assess customer development. Just a few of them are number of products or services sold, new customers acquired, the number of current customers who became referring customers, and their net promoter scores for measuring their customer satisfaction level. With the now famous question, on a zero to 10 scale, how likely are you to recommend X to a friend or colleague? Coupling these attributes, transparency, acknowledgement, and measurement with the four pillars I shared last week, uniqueness, mistakes, listening, and positivity, you have Chris's seven pillars of corporate culture. And putting them all together are some closing comments from ABL Silicon Valley member, Steve Grau the CEO founder of Royal Ambulance, which was recently named to Modern Healthcare's list of 2018's best places to work in healthcare, nationally. When asked which of these seven pillars Steve felt were most responsible for Royal's success in building an amazing corporate culture, he responded, During our first 10 years, we built a very family-oriented organization where elements like positivity and listening were key. However, in the last few years, as we evolved our organization and needed to have a larger focus on achievement through execution, transparency, measurement, and acknowledgement have proven to be the most effective in getting results. As a lean practitioner, we practice consistent and transparent goal setting and alignment, which leads to accountable discussions focused on measurement, and communication around KPIs, followed by acknowledgement and recognition of a job well done. So there you have it, seven pillars from one book to help you strengthen what's probably a strong corporate culture or you wouldn't be watching this video. Wishing you the greatest success on making it even stronger.